Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. I've been getting a lot of questions lately uh, in the comments on the YouTube channel and what I've decided to do is I'm going to do a little question and answer and I'm going to try to do this about once a week or once every other week in addition to the lengthier tutorials that we do. The first question that we're going to take uh, today is from Absolute Stream and they say, hello there, I have a question. In the game of basketball, when I stop the game clock, I also need the shot clock to stop at the same time. Do you have any advice for this? And I respond back and I told him yes I thought this is something that we could accomplish uh, pretty easily in vmix UTC so what we're going to do is we're going to create a timer and then we're going to create a game clock and we're going to create a shot clock and then we're going to do a little bit of scripting and then we're going to use a couple buttons to control those and I'm going to put a little automation in it too so when the shot clock counts down um, to whatever time that you have it set for it'll automatically reset that time clock and be ready to go so that's what we're going to have for you today on one man stream so to get started we're going to go up here under widget and we're going to click on timer and we're going to call this one game clock and then next to game clock we're going to click on the checkbox next to start and the checkbox next to stop because in vmix we know that when we use the stop command it's going to reset the clock so what we're going to put in here since this is game clock we're going to call this one start gc for game clock and under stop we're going to call this reset gc for game clock and we're going to click ok um, let's by default so it's a very short interval just for this tutorial we'll go ahead and set the game clock to 20 seconds and press stop and then we'll press start and you can see where it starts to count up well we don't want that we want it to go the other direction let's click stop make sure we click the checkbox here for reverse and then when we start it it's going to count down now the next thing we're going to create is we're going to create the shot clock. So we're going to go back under widgets again. We're going to go to timer and then we're just going to call this one shot clock. And then we're going to click the checkbox next to, next to start and the checkbox next to stop. And then we're going to put in here for the link we're going to call this start sc for shot clock and for this one we're going to click i mean we're going to type in start i'm sorry not start reset sc for shot clock and then we're going to click ok and we're going to do the same thing the shot clock we're going to make it a smaller interval so we'll go ahead and make it 10 and we want that to count in reverse as well so when we click the checkbox, you can see where the default time here is 10. So let's go back over here to the widget and we're gonna make a few button widgets this time. This one is gonna be start game clock. And then the command we're gonna use, we're gonna click on the plus button right here. And then the command we're gonna use is the execute link command, which is right here. And then what we're gonna type in is the command that we put in and then under the link down here, we type in start GC and we'll click OK. So let's just go ahead. I like to use green for my start buttons and red for my stop buttons. We'll go ahead and click the drop down menu here and we'll choose green and we'll click OK and we'll click start. And when we click start, you can see that right here it's counting down. It started at 13, which is what it was at and then it's going to start counting down. Now we're going to go up here and on completion we're going to type in this command right here reset GC for game clock. We'll click OK then we'll click start and see what happens this time. And as you can see, when it got to zero, it automatically went and reset the current time to 20. So it's ready to go again the next time we want to use it. So that's just the start clock button. 
So what we're going to do is we're also going to create a pause game clock button. So I didn't put that command in there. So we're going to go back here. We're going to click on pause and then we're going to type in here pause GC for game clock. And I normally use a blue button for pause. So let's go on up here under widget. We're going to click button. We're going to call this pause game clock. We're going to come down here to where it says script. We're going to click on this button one time. And then we are going to use the execute link again. And then under the link, we're going to call this pause GC for game clock. And let's go back to the top here and we'll make it blue and click OK. So what we'll do now is we'll click the Start Game Clock button and you can see it starts to count down. And then when we click this blue button right here, Pause, you can see where it pauses the clock at 14. And then we'll start it back again and it starts counting down 13, 12, 11 and we can pause it again. Now let's go ahead and make one more button for this and we're just going to call this one Stop Game Clock. And we know that, or actually we're going to call it Reset Game Clock. So let's click Widget. Again, we'll click on Button. We'll call this Reset GC for Game Clock. We'll click the Script button right here where it says Plus. And when we hover over it, you can see where it says Add Script Command. So we'll go to the drop down menu. We'll check, uh, or we'll uh, come down to where it says Execute Link. And then right here, we're going to type in Reset GC. And I like to uh, make the Reset buttons and the Stop buttons red. So we'll go back up here and we'll click the drop down menu for the colors and we'll click on red and you can see now it's reflected red. So if we have this correct, when I click the Reset GC here, we're going to see this 09 change to 20, which it does. So now we can start the game clock. We can pause the game clock. We can restart the game clock. And we can reset the game clock. And we'll be able to do the exact same thing for shot clock. And I'll show you how I, I do that. Uh, we had already set up these two for start shot clock and reset shot clock. Well, I want to do one for pause as well. So we're just going to click the uh, checkbox to the left of pause and we're going to click in or type in here pause SC for shot clock and that's going to be the link we're going to use. All we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate these widgets and then we're going to go and edit them. So let's scoot this one over here and we're going to change this from where it says start game clock. We're going to change this to where it now is going to say start shot clock. And then under execute link, instead of start game clock, we're going to make this start SC, which will stand for shot clock. We're going to do the same thing. Let's duplicate this. We'll bring it over here. We'll change the pause game clock to pause shot clock. And then we'll come down here and where it says pause game clock, we'll change it to pause shot clock and click OK. Now the last one we have to duplicate is the reset game clock. So we'll click this button right here. If you hover over it, it looks like one page over top of another one, like a duplicate. So we're just going to click on this and we're going to duplicate the widget. We're going to bring it over here like so. We're going to edit it and we're going to change it from re reset GC copy to reset shot clock. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to change this link to reset SC for reset shot clock. So let's see if that works. Let's start the shot clock and you can see it counting down. Let's pause the shot clock and you can see it's paused and then let's reset the shot clock and you can see that it reset. We're also going to come over here and we're going to put on completion again where it says on completion. We're going to put in here reset shot clock. 
So anytime the shot clock expires, we're automatically going to set it back to whatever interval we have it set for. So let's see if that works. We're going to start it. In this instance, it's only going to count down from 10. So now it's at three, two, one, zero. And as you can see, it goes back to 10. So the clock's gonna be ready the next time we start it. We're not gonna have to go back and reset the clock to 10 seconds and then start the timer. So it's gonna save us a step. Now that's not really what the question was. The question was, I need a way to uh, stop the shot clock at the same time that we're stopping the game clock. Well, that's gonna be really easy now that we have these buttons set up. So let's go back to our vMix UTC. And what we're going to do is we're gonna create one button. So let's create a button right here. We'll go to widget. We're gonna create a button. And we're gonna call this, just for, the, just for this, we're gonna call it all start. And we're gonna put in two pieces of script. We're gonna click this twice. We're gonna use the execute link again. This first one is going to be start game clock. And this next one, we're gonna use the execute link again. And this one is gonna be start shot clock. And we'll click okay. Now let's go ahead, since this is a start button, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this green. And click OK. The next button we're gonna have is gonna be a pause button. So when we pause the game clock, we also wanna be able to pause this, the uh, shot clock. So we'll do the same thing for that. We'll go up here under widget, we'll click button, we'll bring it down, We'll call this, to keep with the naming, we'll call it all pause. So that means we're gonna pause everything and we'll go ahead and we'll make this one blue as well. And then again, we're gonna to have to make two pieces of script. We're going to have to use the execute link command twice again. So we'll click here and this is a pause button. So we're gonna be call, we're gonna be naming the first link pause game clock and then we're going to name the second link and we're using the execute link command again we're going to call this one pause shot clock and we've already made it blue so we're good to go and this last button we're going to make we're just going to call this one all reset so let's go under widget button, call this all reset, we're going to make it red, and then we're going to need two pieces of script again, so we're going to click the plus button twice, we're going to come down here to where it says execute link, and then we're going to call this reset game clock, execute link command again, And we're gonna call this reset shot clock. And since we already have that on completion on the timer itself, when it gets down to zero, it's automatically gonna reset the, sh the shot clock. So let's see what happens here. When we click all start, both of these should start and they do. You can see both of these counting down. We click all pause, both of them should pause, and they do. One pauses at 12 seconds, one pauses at two seconds, which you would think because there's a difference of a 10 second interval between the two. And then if we click all reset, this one should go back to 20 seconds and this one should go back to 10 seconds. So let's see what happens. And that is indeed what happens. So let's go ahead and click all start. And you can see that the shot clock counted down to zero and it reset. 
and you can see the game clock counted down to zero and then it reset. So all these buttons are scripted the way, they, the way that we want and they're acting the way that they should. Now, all you would have to do to implement these buttons into your vMix production is all you would have to do is map them. Okay, so I hope you like our new segment we have here on One Man Stream. We're gonna call it One Man Stream Q&A. And like I said, in between the lengthier tutorials, I'll try to do one of these shorter explanations. The next full length tutorial that I'm going to post, it's gonna be one that I've been wanting to do for some time. I just haven't gotten around to. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show how to use vMix and, and uh, BitFocus Companion with a Stream Deck to help automate your production. And these are the two things that I use most often. I use vMix UTC religiously in every production that I do. And then I also use my Stream Deck XL uh, utilizing BitFocus Companion to do some of the other things. Um, it allows me to toggle through my cameras very quickly. I can bring uh, a shot that I want into preview then I can send it immediately to program. And uh, it allows me to do my overlays very quickly. Uh, it also allows me to uh, bring in some of the uh, other graphic elements uh, just by the push of a button. So that's gonna be the focus of our next full length tutorial. It's gonna be vMix UTC and BitFocus Companion utilizing Stream Deck Excel. If you've not had a chance, please stop by our website, onemanstream.com. We have the tutorials that we've been uh, doing along the way through YouTube, and we also have some graphics that I've created along the way. Um, most of the graphics that we've talked about I have available uh, on the website. They're just a few dollars, and I have to say the response has been incredible. I am very thankful and very humbled that you guys uh, think enough about the channel and what we're trying to do here uh, that you want to support the channel by purchasing uh, some of the graphics. I also have uh, some of the UTC controllers up there and so make sure you do give us a thumbs up and a like if you like what we're doing and please subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much.